As all of you, I'm sure, know, the absolute first priority of government is the safety of our community. And as I'm sure all of you are now only too well aware, our country does face a serious terrorist threat, uh, particularly over the last 12 months uh, with the rise and rise of the Daesh Islamist death cult in the Middle East and its consistent campaign to reach out to vulnerable and susceptible people here in Australia. Uh, as all of you I'm sure now know, uh, some 120 Australians are known to be fighting with the death cult uh, and its affiliates uh, in the Middle East. Some 160 Australians uh, are known to be supporting them with financing and recruitment. And uh, we are pretty confident that about 30 Australians have so far been killed uh, fighting for the death cult uh, in the Middle East. Um, our intention always is, as far as we humanly can, to stop people from becoming terrorists in the first place. Uh, if people have become terrorists, our intention, as far as we humanly can, uh, is to stop them from coming back. And that's what today's announcement is all about. It's about giving the government uh, additional mechanisms for stopping hardened terrorists returning to Australia.